Oh, Sam Sylvie. Are you having a laugh? No way. I'm not going to get the Samsung ring. I'm sticking to my tapster. No way. Welcome to my channel. Vlog live 24-7. YouTube watchers and subscribers. Right, let's get into this. We're going to be talking about the Samsung Unpacked event that was on today. Uh, big boys out there, Samsung just unveiled some new products, mainly the Samsung Fold 6 and Flip 6, the Samsung watches and ring. Yep, yeah, those are the main products that were revealed today. And as you may or may not know, I'm a big Samsung fan. I've already got the Fold 5 and I've got the Watch 5 Titanium. Great bit of kit, nice watch that is. I like that watch. Really, really good battery life on that watch. And obviously I've got the Fold here, the Fold 5. Again, a great phone. I've got this absolutely amazing Spigen case. Look at this. This is a wonderful case. I've had this on here since I've bought the phone and I'm so glad I did. As you can see, it's a bit beaten up there through me dropping it on a few occasions, but it's held up wonderfully. The party trick to this case is this, why I like it. Look at that. It's got an S pen. It actually has a pen. So, what I do, I just open it up like that and I can use the pen to scroll through and obviously do things. Absolutely wonderful. It's a great, great pen. Does everything, though it's not Bluetooth obviously, that a normal S pen would do. I can check the weather. Look at this, just press it there. Tells me what's going on. It's a great, great bit of kit having this on here with the S Pen here. England's playing this evening at eight o'clock so I better hurry up because I want to watch it. This is the Spigen Tough Armour case. If you're going to get one of these foldables get the Spigen Tough Armour case. It's really really good. Now we've got the Watch 5. Look at this. It is a fantastic watch. The only thing oh, hasn't got a rotational bezel. This one's been beat up. I've hit this edging here so many times. And look at that. It looks absolutely brand new. You'd never thought I've hit that so many times on different surfaces, hard surfaces mainly. <laughs> you know, that's what you always hit it on hard surfaces, didn't you? That's been beat up, but it's really, really in great condition. Not like some of my other watches that I've had. Even the clasp, usually the clasp here, you're always scratching it and banging it. Look at it, you would think I was scraping it on all these pieces of concrete, this, hard surfaces, and it's great. And I love the way it just clips like that to close. It's really, really a good watch. I really, really like this watch. So for me, going up or oh, changing it to the Watch 7 or the Watch Ultra, which is a lot of money, I don't think I'll be doing that. I'll be sticking with my Watch 5 Titanium. I really like this watch. It does everything I want to do. And yeah, I'll be sticking with this. So in regards to that, that's all this Samsung unpacked stuff that I'm not going to get. I'm going to get the phone and I'm not gonna get the watch. So the only thing I was thinking of getting was the Samsung Ring. And there was one thing that I saw watching the pre-release bump, all the leaks and all these things. What was mentioned 
was that there was going to be, let me get that up there so you can look at that. <laughs> Bit of advertising for myself, eh? Why not? So yeah, one thing I was hoping for was that you could use the Samsung Ring, not just for health activities, but for payments. And I thought that would be really good. You've got a health ring that obviously does your health without wearing your watch, check all your uh, vital health signs, and you can pay for things. But then watching the unpacked event today, I didn't see anything that referred to payments because it hasn't got an NFC chip. And I thought, okay, no payments. So basically all it does is health stuff. And I thought, well, I've got the watch anyway that does all that stuff. I've got my health sensors here. Don't get me wrong, they're not gonna be as upgraded as the latest version, but hey, it does the job, you know, it does your heart, does certain other things. It's got a blood pressure monitor on it. And I thought that's good enough for me. So I thought, why am I gonna spend 600 quid on a, on a new watch when this basically has maybe 90% of what the Watch Ultra has, except obviously the shape. It's got a good battery life, great battery life in the scheme of things when you compare it to other smart watches. It's okay, it does the job. So that's out the way. And then this, obviously, this is definitely out the way. I'm not changing this for a 1800 pounds phone, no way. And this basically does exactly what the new Fold 6 can do. I'm not gonna upgrade this. This is staying where it is. As you can see, there's the prices there. Look at that, 1,799, say 1,800, God, please. You know, let's get to the real nitty gritty of it. 1.8 for the 256 gig. 5, 12 gig was 1.9, 1,900. And the one terabyte is 2,100 pounds. No way would I be spending that on a phone. Even with the discounts, it's still gonna be a lot of money. And have you noticed something? They've all got 12 gig gigabytes of RAM. I thought the maybe, I don't know, the 512 would be 16 gig, or the one terabyte at least for 2,100 would be 16 gigabytes with a one terabyte hard drive storage. Nope, they're all 12 gigabytes. So whatever you're paying is only for storage, nothing else. So that's a no-no, that's up the water. And here's the Galaxy Watch Ultra 599. Uh, I'm sure it does a few bits differently, but I can't see what I'm getting extra than this. Uh, you know, I'm not really seeing it. So this is staying. This is staying for another, I've had this Watch 5, obviously the Watch 6 has gone, I didn't change it, I've still kept this, and I'm not gonna upgrade to the Watch 7 series. Nope, I'm sticking with the Watch 5. Right, so that's that. Then, as I said earlier, the other elephant in the room that I'm not gonna be getting involved with is this thing. Look at the price of this. Hold it, hold it. Am I going to pay 400 quid for a ring, a health ring, that it doesn't do much? It doesn't really do much, bar tell your health. Sleep tracking, heart, this, that, 400 quid. No way. I'm not paying that for that ring. They've made a boo-boo, especially the fact that you can't use it for payments. That is absolutely ridiculous. And you've got to charge it. No way. The only good thing they do do, 0% interest. So if you're gonna be someone to get involved in this, hey, best pay for it little by little and not splurge all your money at once. That's what I would do if I was gonna get mugged into this thing. No way. They're not getting my money on this. Because the next thing I'm gonna show you, which you've most probably seen sitting down here, is this. 